Hi, and welcome to the Google Sheets tutorial on how to make a pie chart. My name is John Flat, and I will be guiding you through this tutorial. As you may know, there are a lot of reasons one would need a pie chart. We're going to cover how to make that, but there are various purposes for it, whether you want to um, portray the data in a way that shows a message and reveals um, maybe your most valuable area um, and how extensively valuable it is. Um, their pie charts are commonly used and are a great tool for any visualization um, setup dashboard of any sort. So we're just going to run through the process of making that and then also explain how to edit it in the event that you need to. So the first step when you're making a chart of any sort on Google Sheets is to go ahead and highlight the data that you'd like to create the chart in. So you click and drag like I just did there and you go up to insert and you come down to chart. Now when you hit chart it's going to automatically predict what type of chart you need. Um, you don't always know if it's going to be the chart type you need. So once it's built, we can then edit which chart it is. So just go ahead and hit chart. So we're making a pie chart and it happened to come up as a pie chart. Sometimes Google Sheets can detect the type of data and assume that that's what you're looking for. And here it was successful. In the event that it's not successful, it's very easy to change the type of chart you're working with. Um, if you see over here, when you make the chart, it automatically brings up a chart editor. And then right in there in the top one, it says chart type. So you can click on that and you can select your other charts. Now, obviously we want to do pie chart, so we were in the right place. So we'll go ahead and open that back up. So we're looking at this pie chart now and it's exactly what we're looking for in a lot of ways, but perhaps when you built it, it didn't bring in the, the correct data or you need to change the label. Um, and you want to edit things in that way. So you can always edit the label here. Um, you can click which one you want it to be the label. In this situation, it's set up where we want it. We don't need to actually make the change, but that would be how you did it there. The other option, if you're looking, give, if it selects the wrong data, or if you actually realize you need to expand the data, say there's, um, let's see here, uh, ooh, water. We'll just add that in, and 600. That automatically adds because Google Sheets picks it up. Now, if it didn't all automatically add, you can go in here, and click the three dots in the top right, you edit that chart, and then you can come and select your data range. So you can add additional ranges, or you can just come in here and you can select the range you want. So say we don't want the water. Okay, so now that's there. So I'll delete this little bit here. So it's got the right data. We're sure of that. We've been able to change it if we need to. So it automatically selects the colors on the chart and the layout of the chart. The design is done automatically, but it's very editable and you can change any of the aesthetics of it. Now it's the same process to edit this as we did before. You click on the three dots in the top right, you hit edit chart. Currently it comes in setup, but if you'd like you to edit the visuals, you go into customize. You can pick chart style. You can change your background color, your font. Um, if you would like a border or not, you can put a border on it. Um, another cool one that I, I see often is just for visual effect. You can do it as a 3D chart. It gives it a bit more depth and, and creates a better look. I personally love the 3D charts, so I use them often. Um, so that's the look there. And then you can come in and do things like add a donut hole, which some people really like. It just kind of gives another visual effect. Um, not necessary, but again, this is about personal preference here. Um, you can label the slices um, by individually instead of you know just out here uh, you can do that if you'd like or you can put the value in so you can see that there percentages there's, there's quite a few options value and percentage and then you can change the label font label size um, some of the colors another thing you can do is you can actually make a specific section stand out more than others so in this case let, we'll select let's see here rent since it's our biggest one and it's automatically read that it selects the colors. Again, you can change all these. This would be how you change that. So say we go purple. Okay, so now you see you can change the colors and you select each one and change the colors that way. But to make to make one stand out and um, identify itself more quickly, you could click this distance from center and you'll see if you do that, it pulls the one apart. Um, maybe we do, let's see here, let's put that one back to zero and we'll go to car. We'll go distance from center, 25%. Has a really a really good look, um, and you'll also notice down below that it brings in this legend. That's something you can actually control as well. Um, you can go down into this legend section and position. You can choose top, and bottom. Um, obviously, there's the variety here. You can do auto. 
Um, and then you can change the font and the color. The other thing that you can edit is the chart titles. Um, and right now, you know, it says the chart titles amount, maybe we say budget. So now we have our, our chart title adjusted. You can change the location of the title. So it's in the center there, or color and everything of that nature. So there's a lot of ability to edit the aesthetics as well as the data within Google Sheets pie charts. So that's how to create and edit a pie chart in Google Sheets. Thank you for joining us.